at first it appears there will be another strong bullish continuation to take prices even higher, but this doesn't progress very far. So with the return of stronger selling, standard Fibonacci levels can be applied with default extension levels as a break below the previously suspected bullish reversal range becomes more likely. Prolonged indecision in the market leads to a noticeable delay to the otherwise successful drop down to the first default extension level, where there's normal opposition to the downtrend which is finally developing more decisively. Then when the second default extension level of 2.618 is contacted, there's additional context to support falling price, so it's not surprising to see a shift towards more neutral to bullish movement around this Fibonacci level which will be less precise given the larger price range and longer duration covered by these extension levels since the initial downtrend began. Now it's normal to see a sharp drop in price in the short term as a retracement following a near vertical climb. Overall, the drop is turning out to be relatively weak, so it'll be quite possible to see a bullish continuation once strong buying volume returns. In this particular case, there is no clear upswing area defined until an abrupt jump in price. So realistically, a Fibonacci wedge could only be applied after the fact to identify the time range of potentially stronger resistance at the downswing area. But in this case, it doesn't really matter since even if the wedge extended further to the right, the large spike in price had sufficiently high buying volume at the time to drive over the recent downswing point area and any remaining short-term bearish sentiment. Something that was clearly possible before the emergence of the most recent upswing is the application of a regular Fibonacci time zone. Right at the point that define the beginning of this current uptrend, the result with the upcoming intervals is, as to be expected, there's the approximate identification of the price rise subsiding, and naturally transitioning towards more neutral to even bearish movement, as a very similar situation to the one we saw at the start of this example begins to unfold. Quite conveniently, the same horizontal Fibonacci levels can be reused, as another significant development becomes more likely as the chart nears the next vertical Fibonacci time zone line.